Good evening, Alejandra. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Are you okay? Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hello, Daniel Enrique. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello, hello. Hello, Daniel. How are you? I'm fine. Teacher. Okay, nice, nice. Teacher? Yes, yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Good evening, Juan Ramon, welcome. How are you, Mr. Rodriguez? Hello. Hello, Juan Ramon. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Nice, nice. I'm so happy that you can make it on time tonight. Congratulations, you did it good. Thank you. Uh, I, I was uh, prepare, uh, preparing information for the general manager. I was uh, very busy. Okay, okay. Yeah, we were missing you here because uh, we saw that you um, accessed kind of late, right? But I'm so happy to have you here on time tonight. Okay. Hello, Ana Cristina. Okay. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Fine. Nice, nice. I like when you say fine. Yeah, nice. you always have a good attitude and I like that. We enjoyed that with you, Ana Cristina. Okay, let's see. Hello, Giovanni Alexander. Just let me see if it is Pineda. Uh, Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Hello. Hello, Silvio. How are you doing? I'm so happy. Nice. Why are you happy tonight? Win the selector. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay. Well, I'm not, um, no estoy al tanto. Okay. But, well, I'm happy with you too. <laughs> Okay, How do good. you say es, ver, es bien raro ver eso? <laughs> uh, it's very weird. It's okay. very weird. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, because I'm busy at this time, so I don't know what happened with that thing. But usually my husband is uh, on that business, but not me. Not me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, not me. And I haven't heard what what is going on with the selector in these days. So I'm sorry, but I'm happy, I'm happy. Yay, yay. <laughs> El Salvador. <laughs> there you are. Okay, guys, we are gonna start the class because it's eight uh, with two minutes and we want to be punctual. 
We want to show punctuality. We are learning about the core values, so we have to practice them. So let's let let's um, take the attendance. Let let me take the attendance. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay, Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana Cristina. Present you there. Okay, there you are. Present. Okay, Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Not yet. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Vladimir Antonio. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. There you are, okay. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Nice, Daniel. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Great. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Present teacher. Excellent, Giovanni. Ivan Ernesto Elias. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Not yet. Uh, Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. There you are. Carla Verónica Suria López. Carla Verónica, are you there? No, Karina is there, right? Okay. Not yet. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Not yet. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Not yet. Nancy Ivetova Rivera. Nancy Ivetova Rivera. Not yet. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Okay. Hey, there you are. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Not Suleima yet. Okay. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Yet. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Yet. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Salas. Present. Thank you. Um, Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Not yet. Linda Estefani Ramírez Abrego. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Teacher present, Ana del Carmen. Okay, Annie. Thank you very much. I'm going to check you in. Thank you. Okay, there you are. Nice. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Good Hello, evening. Carla Veronica. How are you tonight? Fine. I'm going to check you in. Just give me one second, Carla Veronica. Oh, yes, you had a mess in here. Okay, there you are. Good evening, teacher. Present. Hello, this is Kevin Antonio, right? Yes. Okay, there you are. And Maria Elena. Okay, I'm going Hello, to check you in. Teacher. Okay, I'm checking the attendance. So you got to say present. Present, teacher. <laughs> there you are. There you are. Now let's see, mm, I saw Kevin Daniel already. Oh, I'm so happy that you are on time tonight. I'm so happy. Kevin Rodriguez, it's in, I'm checking you in right now. Okay, I think this is all. Okay, now let's start with an activity. This, this activity will be conversation. I want to hear you because this is to use all the vocabulary from unit one, unit two, and you, your creativity, okay? It's your creativity. And I'm going, well, I sent an image through the WhatsApp group. Let me see if I can do it here because I don't know if I can send it through the Zoom thing. Let me try. 
I've never done it. No, no, it's not possible through through Zoom. But I'm going to uh, share the screen, and you can do your screenshot. Okay, for those who can't be using at the same time the WhatsApp thing or the images in your cell phone. So here it is. Let's see. I'm going to explain the activity. The activity is that you have to create this conversation using all the vocabulary possible as much as you can, okay? As much as you can. And this conversation has to last up to two minutes. And these are examples of the um, uh, questions that you may use. Now, let's see number one. Uh, first of all, when we start a conversation, we have the greetings, right? We can say, good evening, hey, hello, how are you? Or um, I don't know, right? How are you doing? How do you do? Then you can use the greeting that you want. Now, after that, you are going to ask, for example, what is your name? And the other person is going to answer that question. My name is, okay. What do you do? I'm a, an, or the, a teacher, okay, in something, something. An, an accountant, for example, the, I am the manager assistant, for example, okay? This is an example how to answer what do you do? Let's remember that we use I'm, I'm, okay, to be verb. The question is, what do you do? We answer I'm. Where do you work? Then we say the name of our company. I work at, and we say the name of our company. What does your company do? We produce, we manufacture, we create, we offer, we specialize, okay? And then, for example, you can say we are in the, and we say the industry type, okay, of your company. You can use your own information. What is your company known for? My company is known for, and you give a fact. You say a fact about your company, maybe it's the biggest or maybe in the region, maybe it's the best in customer service in the past uh, sell, okay? Then you can say whatever you want about your company, uh, why or what the company is known for. Where are the headquarters? Where are the headquarters? Let's remember that the headquarters is the main office the main office, the central, right? The principal building and it's a location. So we need to say a place, a place. For example, uh, we can say, could say the headquarters are, because it's a plural, that we can say the headquarters of my company um, are in San Salvador, for example. And does it have branches? Oh, yes, it does, right? Where? In Santa Ana, in San Miguel, in La Unión, okay? Who is the woman next to you? Esta es para introducir a una tercera persona uh, en esta conversación. No la vamos a usar porque va a ser en parejas, okay? Solo vamos a hablar de esa persona que estamos viendo. Who is the woman the, uh, next to you? Who is the woman next to you? We could say she is the marketing manager. For example, this is an example. You have to use your cre creativity. Now, are you accountable to her? For example, uh, we could say her name is, are you accountable to her? Mm, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Okay, there you are. Do you have any question about this conversation? No questions? Okay, we're going to have at least 15 minutes, okay? 15 minutes to prepare it. 
15 minutes to prepare this conversation in pairs. I'm going to stop sharing and we are going to split the class into groups and to and to pairs into pairs. Before of leaving the main room, estamos entendidos en lo que vamos a hacer? Questions? Como comple como completar con mi compañero la conversación. Podrían completar esa, pero eso es como un ejemplo. Abajo dice be creative. Usted tiene que hacer una conversación de dos minutos utilizando eso fluidamente, ¿ok? Fluidamente. Todo ese vocabulario a su gusto y conveniencia de acuerdo a la información propia de ustedes, ¿verdad? A su propia información. Recuerden que una conversación comienza con el saludo, ¿verdad? We can say good morning, good evening, uh, good afternoon, um, hello, how are you, or how are you doing, how do you do, okay? Bien. Hoy sí? No more yes, questions? Teacher. Okay. Yes. No more questions? No. Yes? Okay, there we are. Okay. There we go. In pairs. Okay. Um, hello, teacher. Hi. Uh, I'm going to, to try the conversation. I copy the other's conversation. <laughs> okay. Yes, you may use all the other conversations in the manual and it will be a very good strategy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Carla. Carla se movió. Pero bueno, este. Teacher, para, eh, en, 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 para saludar en la noche es good evening, o sea, de, de, de entrada. Okay. Yes, okay. that's okay. the correct greeting. Mm -hmm. Okay, listo. Teacher, tell me. I had a question. Tell me. En donde dice, quiero ver. Where are the headquarters? No sé qué quiere decir. Headquarters. Headquarters. 
Headquarters. Uh -huh. Headquarters. Headquarters is the main office. Es la oficina central o el, eh, sí, eh, las, el centro de operaciones, ¿verdad? El edificio de administración. Okay. Casa matriz. Yes, that's correct. That's It's right. a very good translation. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay, Carla. Saludo. Hello. 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 Hey, hello, how are you? <laughs> okay. Is you beginning? Hello. How are you? Eh, usted haría las preguntas, yo daría las respuestas, o yo hago las preguntas y usted daría las respuestas. Sí, comencemos y si querés vamos ya media, al final vamos intercambiando preguntas. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go to another room. Okay, continue working. Okay, thanks. If you have any okay. question, please call me. Okay. Okay, thanks. thank you. Hello, Astrid. Hello, teacher. We are in an activity uh, and they are in the rooms. So let me see where I can send you, okay? Just let me see. Maybe I can send you. I'm going to send you to the first, uh, to the room number one, okay? Okay. es el que tiene que contestar ¿va? el que inicia debe seguir preguntando sí, como teacher dijo que hay que ser un poco creativo entonces le podemos ir cambiando ahí nos ha puesto bastante vocabulario uh -huh. ahí está teacher, perdón sí. yes, teacher? hello, hello how are you hello. doing? Nos estamos poniendo de acuerdo Ok. Yes, you can ask following, I mean, follow up questions. Pueden hacer, por ejemplo, alguien preguntó algo y en la respuesta puede hacer la pregunta de regreso. So you can use your creativity as a real conversation. Ok. 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 Thank you, teacher. Ajá, my name is Juan Rodríguez. Eh, después la, bueno, yo te puedo, te puedo preguntar también, where do you work? Eh? Exacto. O, o, o preguntarle, no, no, no. I am Juan Rodríguez, and you? Ok. No, como ya le pregunté, my name is, yo, yo le decía, good evening, my name is Carlos. Eh, what ah, is okay, your name? Okay. Entonces, eh, aquí le vamos my a name is Juan, Juan Rodríguez. Ok. My name is Juan eh, Rodríguez. Eh, what, eh, what does your company do? Por ejemplo, pero no todavía no sabemos. Ahí vamos a preguntar. Where do bueno, you para, para variar ahí le podemos poner eh, Where do you live? ¿A dónde vives? Ajá. Pero lo haríamos eso ya más, más, más personal y no. Ah, y no que como es para eh, empresa, ¿verdad? Como el teacher nos está diciendo que es más orientado a. A oficina a empresa, sí. y al lenguaje que el, los ejemplos que nos han puesto son más orientados a su trabajo. Sí, ok. Entonces eh, me preguntas: eh, No, eh, tú, where tú do siempre, you work, my name is Juan, eh, where do you work? ¿verdad? Para que yo conteste. Ajá, where do you, y yo voy a contestar: I work at in Dupalma. No, no, ese tú me estás preguntando: where do you work? Ajá, pero después yo voy a contestar. Ah, yo te ah, pregunto, what do you sí, work? Sí, porque tú, okay. tú dices, my name is Juan, ¿verdad? Y, uh -huh. uh, where do you work? Para que okay. sea en, en la misma, en la misma eh, contestación, después hacemos la pregunta. Sí, sí. Sorry to interrupt, sorry to interrupt. Please use your vocabulary. For example, you can say, Carlos, or you, Juan Ramón, you can say, I will, uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I ask, or my question is, okay? Use your vocabulary when you are talking between you here in the room. Usen su vocabulario. Okay. 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 Thank you. 
Entonces, eh, eh, what, eh, is, menos Spanish. Where do you work? I work in call center. Y, y de ahí me puedes preguntar a Anju, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. I know, ajá, uh -huh. eso es de textil, producción de textil, ropa. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Hello, uh, no, teacher. Uh, you say textile. 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 Textile, ¿verdad? Textile. With an X. Text. 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 Uh -huh. Textile. Se escribe textile. 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 Uh -huh. And your manual is in that table. Do you remember where we have the industry vocabulary? That was page 19, I remember. T E X T I L E. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, I'm I'm going to another room. Okay, continue working. Do you have any other question? Okay. No teacher. Okay, then let's uh, let us meet later. Hello, teacher. No lo escucho. Okay, hello Suleyma, how are you? Uh, we are in an activity. I'm going to assign you to um, to the room number number four, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay. Gracias. Finances services. Service. Service, right? Services, uh-huh. Okay. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? Aquí estamos trabajando. <laughs> nice. Here, we are working. There you are. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes um, let's, use, let's use our vocabulary. <laughs> um, teacher, vamos yes. a utilizar, um, ¿es necesario utilizar todas las cuestiones? Todas las preguntas? No, it's not needed, but eh, la verdad que lo más que puedan, okay? ¿ok? Y si le agregan, mejor, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Ok, dice un poco. Vicios. Nancy sería como, bueno, primero, como le doy la bienvenida, ¿va? sería como está. Sí. Okay. Yeah, okay. Me dice que. Thank you. 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 Thank Teacher. Escribamos en, pres en presente. I am happy to. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. uh, 
To help or to provide, to give, to bring, uh, to, okay. How, okay. to to help. Uh, contribuir sería algo así, no. Contribuir. Contribuir, no. Uh, no, it is contribute. Contribute, but we are using help, so we have to use an ing, contributing, contributing, ing. Contributing. Ng. Así. No D, sin la D, no D. Contributing. Mm. Contributing. Contrib Pero en vez, de, en vez de la E sería el ING, vea. Contribute. Ajá. ING, vea. Exactly. Ah, Juan Carlos. Con mm -hmm. Contri. Que veo chiquita pantalla. Contri. Bu. T. T. Contribute. Pone, ponga la T y de ahí pone ING. Okay. Contribute. Ajá. Yes, ah. contributing. Okay. Contribute. Será un placer. Con la empresa sería, ¿verdad? Sí. Será un placer contribuir. Puede ser así. Puede ser company. The company. Okay. Eh, okay. Podemos ocupar ahí una, una pregunta también. Quiero ver, tenemos. Ok, eh, uh, the, uh, I'm going to another room, so continue working. You are doing a good job. Ok. Hello. Uh, teacher, eh, una pregunta aquí en las preguntas, ¿verdad? Eh, la que yeah. dice, who is the woman next to you? Mm -hmm. Es mujer. Uh, Entonces yes. dice quién es la mujer que está a la par tuya. Yes, yes. Eso es para introducir una tercera persona. To introduce a third person. Eso uh, lo aprendimos el día de ayer, ¿verdad? Hablar de una persona que está sí. fuera de la conversación. So that was only an example. You can use any other question. Maybe a man. Okay. No. no. Okay, teacher, thanks. Okay. Okay, guys. Entonces dice, who is a woman next to you? Entonces se refiere como Vaya, este, aquí. Comenzá Ana. Ana me pregunta a mí. Uh -huh. pues, eh, voy a ordenar porque estoy. Teacher, podemos utilizar las preguntas que nos mandó en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Yes, that's the activity. You have to use them. You have to use that vocabulary. Ok. Teacher, listen the conversation. The, Okay, go, go on. Listen to the conversation, Tisa, please. You start, Anna. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, okay. Good evening. Is Cristina Chavarria. What's your name? Is Giovanni Ramirez. Nice to meet you. Usted me dice ella es Suleima. Ah, okay. No, eh, Giovanni me tenía que decir. Sí. Sí, es Suleima. Nice to meet you, Cristina y Giovanni. What you, what, no, where you, where. Y, y entonces nos podemos. O, eh, o, o si no me preguntas, en, uh, 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 um, where do you, uh, where do you, uh, uh, 
ubiqué y todo, no sé. O, mm -hmm. eh, ¿Dónde están? Where, where, where do you wear? Sería. Where do you wear? Ok. Excuse me. Kim es. Sorry, here I am back. Nice to meet you, Ana. She is Suleima Mengar. Nice to meet you, Cristina y Giovanni. Where and Giovanni. You... And Giovanni, thank you. Uh, where do you work? Giovanni? I work at office for Banco Agricola. And you? Uh, I work at ONG International. And you, Cristina? What do you work? Uh, I work in BLP Layer. Uh, okay. De ahí tenemos que preguntar. Lawyer. 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 Uh, okay. Okay. Lawyer. Yeah, because liar, the pronunciation is como mentiroso. Okay. So uh -huh. I said, be el mentiroso. Oh my okay. God. No, no, no. <laughs> lawyer. Okay. Lawyer. Lawyer. Ah, pero ahorita, lawyer. ahorita íbamos a, a bueno, eh, what, what are you responsible for, Giovanni? My my responsibility for I am I am I responsible am, for I am responsible for 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 give giving for giving for giving a great solution Credit solutions, it's good. Hello. Mm -hmm. And you, este, Anna. Uh, my responsibility account, accountant, the three, three company. Okay. My responsibility from analyst financier. Um, the project. Uh, how? Oh, no, quiero ver que otra podemos poner. La la otra que dice what is es como compañía, verdad? Teacher. Company. The headquarters. Company. No, the headquarters is oh. the main office. Is uh, the um, central the central company. Um, for example, uh, where are the headquarters in San Salvador? And where are the branches in Ilopango and um, maybe Santa Ana? Okay, those are the branches and the headquarters is the central, the central or the sure principal what, office. Sure what, what, is, what is branches? Branches, branches are the, um, a, little offices or representatives in different places okay Super representatives silent. yes that's the translation mm -hmm. okay okay it works, it works is office central yes is the central office mm -hmm. yo no haría la pregunta entonces eh, yo terminé contestando, creo que yo debo de preguntar. Eh, I'm, I'm going to another room, okay? Continue working. You are doing a good job. Thank you. Hello, Kevin. Hello, teacher. What happened? <laughs> Um, la compañía, bueno, no sé con quién iba, no se unió a la... Anadelmi, it was Anadelmi Herrera. 
Ah, pues quizás tiene problemas porque solo se, se reconectó como unos 30 segundos y se olvidó de conectar. Ok. I'm going to send you to another room, okay? And I'm going to give you two more minutes. Okay, I'm going to send you to Juan Carlos and Nancy. Okay, it's okay. room five. Hello, Carlos Alberto. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? I see that you don't have a cam tonight. Sorry. <laughs> Estoy tratando de conectar. Ya, ya. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> teacher, uh -huh. yo estoy teniendo serios problemas de internet, por eso le he bajado el video hoy. Okay. Pero aquí estoy. Okay. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Ah, buddy. There you are. Okay, we are going to hear only one pair at this moment, and we are going to start with the new topic. But after that, uh, the explanation and all these things, we are going to give some more time for you to present your conversations, okay? Now, uh, we want to listen Giovanni, Anna, and Suleyma, please. Okay. Good evening. My name is Cristina Chavarria. What's your name? My name is Giovanni Ramirez. Nice to meet you, Anna. She is Suleiman Melgar. Nice to meet you, Cristina and Giovanni. Where do you work? Giovanni? I work at Office for Banco Agricola in you. My work? is Plan International. And you, Cristina? I work in BLP Lawyers. Very good. And where are you responsible for? My responsibility my responsibility accountant D3 and, and a company. And you, Giovanni? I am, I am responsible for great solution. And usually, 
forgiving, my, right? My, my responsibility is a uh, accountant financial um, projects. I am responsible for the accounting. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. A financias and project. Thank you. Okay, is that it? You finished, yes. right? Okay, just let me give you a little feedback. Let's remember that when someone asks you a question, there is a way to answer. Existe una manera de contestar. La más certera y en la que no se van a equivocar es cuando ustedes utilizan la misma información de la pregunta. Ok, si ustedes usan la misma información de la pregunta para contestar va a ser muy ordenado y muy entendible. For example, you say, um, uh, what do you do? I am an accountant and I do this and this and that. What are you responsible for? What are you responsible for? Entonces voy a usar la misma información. I am responsible for, mm -hmm. y digo la, el verbo con ing, ¿verdad? Para decir la actividad o mi función, ¿ok? And then, uh, um, cuando introducimos a una tercera persona, when we want to introduce to a uh, third person in my information or in this conversation, for example, Giovanni said, she is, it's not that it is incorrect, but the best the best way to introduce someone else is this is, okay? This is Leima Melgar. Para nosotros en español es como pesado decirle este es, ¿verdad? O esta es. But in English, that's the correct way. That is the correct way. We, say, we have to say this is Suleima. And yeah, after that, I can say and I can use the pronoun she, okay? She is in charge of the personnel and the plant uh, production. And she is also my best friend or wherever you wanna say, you can use she after uh, introducing the person. So you have to use this is, okay? For example, I'm going to introduce you to a new classmate, for example. Okay, guys, today we have a new classmate and this is Kevin Antonio. Uh, everybody say hello to Kevin Antonio. And I said, this is, right? This is Kevin Antonio, okay? This is Silvio, so please say hello to Silvio. This is Carlos Eduardo, so please say hello to Carlos Eduardo. They are new classmates. Hey, welcome guys, okay? We use this, this is, this is. Usually when the person is not right here or around here, but far away, then I can say, oh, that is, okay? That is Suleyma Melga, okay? Because you are not near me, you are far, or uh, you are not next to me, you are far. Then I can say that is para introducir a un presentar a una tercera persona si usamos this is or that is okay we don't use she is or he is okay okay nice y cuando y cuando estábamos en la pregunta que son tres personas o más y usted se presenta pero responde el compañero pero el compañero para continuar la pregunta puede decir da la respuesta y no, nosotros decíamos en you pero sentía yo como que era muy, ¿este correcto o? Oh, yes, uh, you can say, and what is your name? Complete mm -hmm. question. And what's your ah, name? Okay. okay. Or you could say, and yours, y el suyo, okay. Yours. And ah, yours, yours, no como, y vos, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo te Ajá, llamas? You I, say, I understand. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so okay. it's better if Thank you, you say, and what is your name? Do you remember teacher. the frozen? Yes, tell me. Teacher, y en el caso que no nos conocíamos, porque aquí hicimos que Giovanni presentara a Suleima, pero nosotros no sabíamos quién es Suleima. Okay. Entonces, no sé si ella se presenta eh, solita, digamos. Claro. Eh, if you don't know the person, then the person can 
introduce herself. So in this case, for example, uh, you can ask her, and what is your name? Okay, you can uh, refer to her, direct a question uh, to her, and she is going to answer. Oh, my name is Suleyma. Nice to meet you guys. Okay. Thank you. Teacher. Yes, she can do that. Okay, people, this is a very good exercise. We practiced all the vocabulary. Uh, for example, when we are in a meeting, in an event, at a seminar or somewhere else, maybe in a meeting in our company, then we use this vocabulary. And it's very important to introduce to a third person or how, to know how to do it. And that was in the present tense. That was in the present tense. But after this conversation, we need to add some experiences. We need to tell some experiences about, uh, porque cuando uno va profundizando en la conversación, al principio es lo que acabamos de hacer. Nos presentamos, hablamos del trabajo, ok, mi compañía, tararara. Pero el siguiente día no va a decir lo mismo, ¿verdad? En el evento o en el seminario. Ya va un poquito más profundo. Y ya hablamos de experiencias. Para eso necesitamos vocabulario en tiempo pasado. So the topic for today is the simple past statement. And we are going to learn how to ask questions with short answers, yes or no answers, um, in the past simple tense. So do you remember that I sent a verb list? ¿Se acuerdan de la lista de verbos? Okay, yes. and the second column, the second column is for the past simple form of the verb. Y esa es la forma que vamos a utilizar, the second column, la segunda columna. Okay, now let me, let me introduce the object, uh, the objective for tonight. And let me share the screen uh, with you. Okay. So we are going to have this topic for tonight, simple past tense, uh, developing our video conference number eight, right? Number eight. And today is July the 14th, 2021. And our agenda started with a feedback conversation then right now we are going to talk and we are gonna see the previous knowledge about this. Then we are going to practice a dialogue. We are going to do a written exercise and then we are going to have an activity in the breakout rooms. And uh, let's try to make a summary for wrapping up. And the session one-to-one -one is for Raquel Judit tonight. Ha! I found a way to not forget that. Encontré la forma, miren, para no olvidar a quien le toca la sesión. Aha, so it is in the agenda now. So let's continue. Let me go to the objective for tonight. The objective is that you are going to use the simple past tense in one experience. One experience. What experience? Networking. Do you know what networking is? Networking? networking. Let's read the objective. The class will be able to describe past networking experiences in business using the simple past and yes, no questions. Simple past statements, negative and positive, and yes, no questions. We are going to use the deed auxiliary and answers with yes and no, okay? Now, to start, to start, we're gonna say, I'm sorry. To start, we are going to our manuals and in our manuals, we have two questions. Do you know what networking is? What networking is? What is networking? Mm -hmm. Exactly. 
Okay, nets. Mm -hmm. And what is networking in business? What is networking in business? Informatic. Okay. Informatic thing or connections, right? Connections. Connections not only in the nets with the systems, but with people. Okay, we can connect with people around the company or the different branches of the company if they are out of borders. So we can use the networking. And also we can use networking with different people in different seminars that belong to other companies, okay? That, be, that they are in the same uh, field that we are, but they enrich our career. They enrich our knowledge, okay? So yes, that's networking. And um, do you use the net? I mean, the social media? Do you use the social media? Do you use the social media, guys? Ustedes usan las redes sociales? Yes, teacher. 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 Okay. What for do you use the social media? Babe. Let's see. <laughs> Ani? Facebook. Okay. Facebook. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Twitter. Okay. In the office. Instagram. Instagram. Uh huh. LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Uh huh. Gmail. Okay, the Gmail because is the email, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you use that for? Para que las usan? Social media. Uh -huh. WhatsApp and um, in the group, uh, the work. Okay, yeah, for uh for communicate with other family okay good with family with relatives yeah and we can make groups right in the company mm -hmm. uh teamwork okay. we can um communicate in teams now let me share this for you so do you often I mean, when you go to a seminar or when you attend a seminar, do you share your business card with someone else? Ustedes comparten su tarjeta, su presentación, su información. Por ejemplo, le dicen, ah, mi email es este, eh, mi teléfono este, whatever. You give your personal information to okay. get in contact. Do you do that? Yes. Okay. Okay. So now let's see. These two people are talking in a seminar. Oh, no, no, no. They are talking about a seminar in a past tense. Okay. It's an experience. This person went to a seminar and she's talking about the experience of networking in that seminar. So let me read the conversation for you to get the context here. And then we're going to practice the conversation. Luis and Janet, did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. I, I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great, so did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome, awesome. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Tell me more. 
I updated my networking skills. I learned to move from small to smart talk. Great. So did you make new contacts? Yes, I did. I exchanged business cards with 10 people. Awesome. First of all, do you have any question about the vocabulary here? Uh, slowly, pronunciation, uh, uh, última palabra. This one, exchange it. Uh, it's kind of complicated because it has an X, a CH, and a G, and a D. So we have to say this, exchange it, exchange it. Uh, no, la, la última palabra, la medicina. Awesome. 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 Thank you. Okay. What is this? ¿Qué, qué significa? Wonderful. Teacher? Excellent. Nice. But in a big meaning. Awesome. Eh, magnific, right? Or magnificent. Janet o da daited. Updated, updated, update, updated, updated. Mm -hmm. I updated. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Teacher, and yes, uh, tell me. the last one, Janet, when say, Yes, I did. I changed business card with uh, 10 people. Yes. And it, when I only do conference by teams, by social media, it changed the business card for the business contact. Uh, if it is the same, well, in this case, yes. Uh, they are talking about people and giving information or sharing information. Yes, mm -hmm. business cards are the information, okay, the information. Now, uh, you said 10 people, yeah, 10 people gave you their business cards. And what was the other question about that business card? You change business cards for the people. Oh, yes, exchange it mean that I give you and you give me. Okay, intercambiar, okay, exchange. I give you mine and you give me yours. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's go and see something about this. Okay, we are going to see the structure about how to use the, how to use the ED ending how to use these verbs, because this is a new form, okay? This is a new form. So far, we learned how to use the present simple. So now we are going to uh, learn how to use the, the past simple tense to talk about experiences. In this case, they are talking about networking, but we are going to see something else. First of all, I have to take the attendance because it's nine o'clock. Okay, let me take the attendance now. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Present teacher. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay, Vladimir Antonio Santos Valdivieso. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present teacher. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Y, um, Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present teacher. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. 
Carla Verónica Zuria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Present. Nancy Beto Barrivera. Raquel Judith Present, Vázquez teacher. de Córdoba. Thank you, Nancy. Present. There you are. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present, teacher. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Salas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay. The first thing we have to know, or we need to know about the past simple tense is that the verbs that we are using, they, they are divided into regular and irregular. So let me share the screen for you uh, to start that explanation. It's a little one and let's stop sharing this. There are some verbs that they don't change. They just add an ed ending, okay? An ed ending. Solo le agregamos ed, okay? For those that are regular, that are regular. Van a decir, ¿cómo sabemos cuál? No, here is just memory. Por eso tenemos una listita para identificarlos, okay? So the regular verbs ends, the regular and in ed, okay? Ed ending. And the irregular, they change completely. They change completely. change their form and spelling and pronunciation, okay? And spelling and pronunciation, they change completely. But the regular, they maintain the root, but they add an ed at the end. So let's go and see these examples of verbs that are regular. These verbs, end with ed. If they end with ed, what is the past tense form of this first verb? Manage, manage. What is the past tense, the simple past tense of manage? Manage. Mm -hmm. Manager, manager. Excellent. No, color here. No color here. There you go. Managed, managed. Hmm? What about supervise? Supervisor. Okay. What about report? Report. Thank you. What is the simple past of work? Working. Worked. 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 Excellent. Worked. Worked. What about direct? Direct. 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 
Directed. Directed. Okay. Directed. Directed. What about uh, target? Target is another here. Target. Targeted, targeted, okay. To target, targeted. There you are. Well, here we can find find some other words that we can say that they are um, regular. But what about manufacture? Manufacture. Manufacture. Mm -hmm. Manufacture. Manufactured, manufactured, d, d at the end. Manufactured, manufactured. Okay. Now, what other verbs can you say with this same ad end? Okay, start. Let's see, Linda, one verb. Regular verb. Answered. Okay. Present, answer. Past simple tense, answered. Uh, answered. Okay. Very good. Juan Carlos, another regular verb. Yep. Which one? Yet. Yet. Uh, Yet. You say this. Let me say this. It. It. Uh, okay. Is this regular or is it um, an irregular verb? Irregular verb. Okay. Irregular. This is irregular because it changed. Okay. It changed when we see the past form is eight. eight. Okay, eat eight. Este no termina con ed, ¿verdad? Entonces no es regular. It's not a regular verb. This is irregular, okay? Okay, okay now let's see. Giovanni Pineda. Ask. Ask, very good. Asked, right? There you are. Carla Veronica? Um, regular. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Very good. Silvio? Produced. Produced. Excellent. Nancy? Podría ser like. Okay. Pero, no sé si mm -hmm. Yes. Like, light. Like, light. 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 Okay. Okay. Ana Cristina. Take. Take. Uh, that's not a regular verb, right? because it changes. So let's see. Take the past tense is took. Like Very good. Now take past tense took. 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 The past okay. participle is taken. Taken. Okay. Took. Mm -hmm. Take, took, eat, ate. So these are not regular. Let's remember the regular verbs and an ed. Okay. Le agregamos ed. Perdón, terminan en ed. En ed. Okay. Those are regular verbs. Regular. Carlos Eduardo, one regular verb, please. Yeah, tense. Again? Dance. 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 
Dance. Oh, dance. Okay, good. Uh huh. Okay. Very good. Dance, danced, danced. Okay, let's see here, Raquel. One regular verb, please. Enjoy. Okay. What is the past tense? Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Very good. Enjoyed. Alejandra. And do. Do. Is it a regular or an irregular verb, guys? Irregular. Irregular. Okay. It's irregular. Why is it an irregular verb? Because it changes. Okay. It changes. So let me. Let's see. Okay, okay. What is the past tense of do? What is the past tense of do? Done. Does. No, the past tense is did. Okay. Did. Yes, the past okay. the simple past tense for do is did. There you are. Do did. Okay. Bueno, ahorita ya vimos que existen verbos regulares. Veamos los irregulares que ustedes mencionaron. It, a, take, to, to, did. What is the difference? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? This, change, and this, maintain the root, but with a, an ed ending, okay? Now let's see the three cases we have in the irregular verbs, okay? Let's see the three cases we have in the irregular verbs. This is just uh, an introduction, okay? Esto es solo una introducción porque en el uso es donde vamos a ir eh, fijando el conocimiento, okay? And this column, you see that this verb change completely. Go, present. Went, past simple tense. I go to work. I went to work yesterday, okay? I do, I did. I make a cake, for example. I made a cake, okay? Ahora, este verbo es muy importante porque el verbo to be, the verb to be, when it goes to the past tense, it has the same rules as in the, the present tense. For example, is, is, if you see here, okay, is for singular, singular subject. The singular in the past is was, okay? Are is for plural subjects and we, change this into the past verb form, where, where. For example, a ver, ¿cuál, uh, fal ¿cuál forma falta aquí del to be? Tenemos is, tenemos um. are, exactly, am, am, am es exactamente igual que is en el pasado, ok? Y para am utilizamos was. For example, I was a teacher when I was young. Okay. I was a doctor, but now I am retired. Right. I was, I was. I'm still a doctor, but I'm not working as a doctor. So I could say I was, I was. Okay. Is am equals to was. R equals to where. Ahora, tenemos este otro caso. Este otro caso es de los que no cambian en la escritura, ¿ok? Ni cambian en la pronunciación. Ni cambian en la pronunciación. For example, cut, past tense, cut. Put, past tense, put. Cost, present. Past, but simple tense. Coast. 
quit, quit. Past simple tense, quit. No cambia la escritura ni cambia la pronunciación. And we have this beautiful verb. <laughs> this is a very beautiful verb. It doesn't change the writing or the spelling, but it changes in the pronunciation, okay? Present tense is read, read. Past tense is red, 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 como el color, red, as the color red, okay? Read, red, read, red, okay? Now let's go back to the manual. And let's read the sentences we have with the verbs in the past tense, okay? Let's see the first one. It says, I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. Present tense, learn. Past tense, learned a lot. I updated, I updated my networking skills. Again, I learned to move from small to smart talk. I ex changed business cards with 10 people, okay? Now let's answer these questions, okay? Let's answer these questions. It's still moving and moving. I'm not moving. Hmm. Sorry. Number one, this is according to the dialogue above. Did Luis go to a seminar? Did Luis go to a seminar? Yes, he did. Yes, he did or no, he didn't. Who was at the seminar? Who was at the seminar? Who went? Janet. Janet. Okay. No, uh -huh. no. Did you enjoy the seminar? Yes, I did. I learned a lot. Yes, she did. Okay. Did Luis go to a seminar? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Excellent. Number two. Thank you, Maria Elena. Now let's see, Karina. Number two. Yes, she did. Can you read the the question? Did Janet update, update her networking skills? Yes, she did. Okay, good. Number three, please, Annie. Annie, 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 Okay. Three. Question three. Yes, please. No. Did Janet learn to go from a small to a small talk? No, she did. What do you think, guys? What do you think? What is the answer for this question? Number three. Mm. Yes, no, she, she did. did. Oh, no. Yes, she did. 
Yes, she did. Okay, that's the correct answer. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. Okay, number four. Please, can you read it, uh, Nancy? Okay, did Liz shine business card with 10 people? Okay. Yes, he did. Luis or Janet did that? Janet. Uh, Janet, no, he did not. Okay, no, he didn't. <laughs> okay, yeah. now let's go and see how do we construct or how do we build the questions, okay, in the past tense. Okay. Okay. This is an example of a question. What I want that, I mean, what I want to show you is the structure of the question. It's exactly the same when we ask in the present tense, okay? It's exactly the same when we um, ask in the present tense. We use an auxiliary and the auxiliary goes to the beginning of the question. Do you see? We use did, did. Este es el equivalente a do en, en, en el tiempo presente, ¿verdad? We use did. Luego vamos a usar the subject. Okay. Did, she, did, he, did, they. Okay. Then we are going to use the verb and the base form in the base form. Aquí no vamos a utilizar en la pregunta, no vamos a poner el verbo en pasado, porque did ya lo hace pasado. Entonces, como ya tenemos did aquí, el verbo, el principal, va a ir en tiempo presente. Let's read it again. Did the manager attend? Ahora vemos el complemento, the complement of the question, the meeting yesterday. Como es pasado, las frases de tiempo van a ser in the past, okay, in the past. Probablemente today in the morning, today in the afternoon, but not right now, okay? So... We can use yesterday, last week, last month, okay? Now, to answer this question, we give a short answer. Yes, he did. Or no, he didn't. Pero normalmente cuando nosotros eh, hacemos una pregunta de confirmación, porque esta es una pregunta de confirmación de la información, probablemente yo ya sé que el manager no llegó, ¿verdad? Yo quiero confirmar. Entonces, I say, did the manager attend the meeting yesterday? Just confirming, right? Just confirming. Then, si la persona me contesta, no, he didn't. Why? Do you know why? Okay. Then I want an explanation about that thing. For example, we could say, no, he didn't. For example, we could say, he went to uh, the brunch in um, Santa Ana, okay? Giving an explanation of what the person did. Esto es una forma muy polite, giving an explanation, right? Es una forma muy amable de decir para que ya la otra persona no se quede con la duda, ¿verdad? Why? 
So no, he didn't. He went to the branch in Santa Ana, for example. In this case, if you see, I use the past simple tense or the past simple form of the verb because it's positive. It's a positive statement. It's a positive statement. So, aquí ya tenemos tres cosas. Hemos aprendido ahorita. How to ask a question in the past tense with a short answer saying, yes, he did or no, he didn't. And also we are learning how to give an explanation or a complete answer giving this explanation in a positive form of the verb in this case, right? We use the past simple verb form. Okay, let's see another example. Did the human resources department print out the vaccination campaign flyers? Okay, did the human resources department print out the vaccination campaign flyers? Yes, they did. Okay. Why did I change? change that, it's because in the Spanish we say RH, RH, right? But in English we say HR, okay? Did the HR department or the human resources department print out the vaccination campaign flyers? And if they didn't, then no, they didn't. Yes, they did. A ver, ¿quién nota algo acá? En la respuesta, we are using plural. Uh -huh. plural. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. plural. And in the question, we are using like a unit, right? Like a unit or a department, it's like singular, like singular. Y esta es una forma correcta. Cuando nosotros contestamos algo acerca de todo el departamento, la responsabilidad del departamento o la acción del departamento, podemos usar el plural, así como cuando nos preguntan de la compañía. ¿Se recuerdan? What does your company do? They produce something, something. Then it's the same case here. Okay? It's the same case here. This is a way to answer something about a department, a unit, an area or a group, a collective thing, okay? So yes, they did, or no, they didn't. Yes, they did, no, they didn't. For example, if I will give, uh, if I will get, uh, could give um, an explanation to the negative answer, I'm going to write this here. No, they didn't. For example, I could say, communications did, okay? Yeah, just giving a little explanation. Ahora, si vamos a utilizar, okay, no fue recursos humanos, fue el departamento de comunicaciones, right? Facilmente, I say communications did. Now, como es bien largo, ¿verdad? Incluso podríamos usar, usar esto. Communications printed out the flyers. Okay.
y volvemos al punto. Utilizamos en el positivo el verbo en pasado, printed. And if you see print out, it's a phrasal verb. El ed va en el verbo. Y esto se mantiene. The preposition se mantiene. Printed out the flyers. Okay? Do you have any questions so far? Questions? Okay, let me explain just this. The past simple negative form, okay? We use didn't. This is the contraction of did not. Contraction of did not. This is an example. I didn't receive the confirmation email. I didn't receive the confirmation email. Number two. You didn't wear the uniform at the training. Ahora, notemos entonces, cuando nosotros hacemos el negativo, we add didn't, para decir no, okay, to say no, y utilizamos la forma base del verbo. Esto es el equivalente en el presente a don't, ¿verdad? En el pasado es, I didn't receive. La ventaja que tenemos, the advantage here, es que para todas las personas, para todos los pronombres, no cambia. Siempre es did. Siempre es didn't para el negativo. ¿Ok? No cambia. Esto nos facilita todo porque no tenemos que estar viendo si es do or does, ¿verdad? No tenemos que estar viendo otra forma. Just did, didn't for the negative. Okay, let's read number three. She didn't have a day of last week. She didn't have a day of last week. Number four. We didn't attend to the seminar yesterday. We didn't attend to the seminar yesterday. Number five. They didn't start a new process last month. They didn't start a new process last month. So please notice the time expressions. The time expressions here are, for example, last week, past tense, la semana pasada, right? Yesterday, ayer, right? Yesterday. Last month, last month, el mes pasado. ¿Cómo sería el año pasado? Last year. Last year. Last year. Excelente. ¿Cómo sería anteayer? Yesterday. Okay, yesterday is the day before, uh, right? Yesterday. Uh -huh. Last year. Last year. Okay, someone said, Daniel, you said something, Carlos said something. Okay, Silvio, I think said something too. Pero lo dijeron al mismo tiempo. Entonces, <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Silvio, tell me. Two days ago. Okay, two days ago. Mm, okay, good. It's a very good uh, thing. Now, let's see, Carlos. Carlos Alberto. Last, last yesterday. <laughs> okay, the last yesterday. Oh, that's a good one. It's funny. It's funny. Okay, it's creative. Uh, now let's see. Someone was uh, saying the same thing to Daniel. You said something too, Daniel Enrique. <laughs> last yesterday. Oh, okay. That's being creative. Okay, it is the day before yesterday. Okay, the day before yesterday. As he said, he said, anteayer. The day before uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Okay, the day before yesterday. How do we say anoche? At night. 
Okay, at night is like every night, right? At night. It happens in that time, but last no. Night. Last yes. night? Last night. Last night. Tonight, esta noche. Last night, la noche ayer, ¿verdad? Anoche, right? So, this is the way to use uh, the negative, the question, and the positive statements with, uh, I mean, using the past simple tense. Now let's go please to the manual and let's continue studying there. The thing about networking, okay? The thing about networking. Okay. Let's read this box. This is a grammar box. And let's see how to use simple past tense sentences. I'm sorry. And yes, no questions. How to use simple past sentences and yes, no questions. Now you know that because I explained it. Okay. I explained it. So now let's see if they uh, examples we have. Uh, let's read them. Mm, how do we do this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ana Delmi. Ana Delmi, are you there? Ana Delmi? Hola. Can you read please these sentences? Um, I learn a lot. I put that day night networking since it exanger boosting cars. Luis Din Dintin attends days a seminar. Y Luis Di Luis Dint exa exchange. Eso no lo puedo mencionar. Exchange. exchange. Yes, it's complicated. Exchange. We think scars. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now okay. let's see. What do you notice here? What do you notice? These three verbs are regular or irregular? Regular. 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 Okay. Now, uh, to form the negative, we use didn't and the base form. Okay. Aquí hay un error de dedo en esta oración. Okay. Luis didn't attend the seminar, okay? The seminar. Quitamos esa A. Luis didn't exchange business cards. Now, let's read the questions. Who wants to read the questions? Please say me. I want to, please say. Me. Okay. There you are. Did you enjoy the seminar? Did you make a new contact? Did Janet update her networking skill? Okay, good. Thank you very much, Silvio. Now, do you see here we have did and the base form of the verb? Okay, eso es lo que tenemos que fijarnos y tener cuidado. No podemos decir, did you enjoy it? ¿Verdad? Vamos a decir, did you enjoy? In the present or in the base form. In the base form, porque did ya me lo hace pasar. Okay. Ahora, completemos esta parte de acá. Completemos esta parte de acá. Okay. 
let's start. The simple past describes past events. Use the verb in the, what of those two forms? Base form. Okay. It says, again, use the verb in the, for positive sentences, for positive sentences. What is the form we're going to use? This one, right? E D or D form. For negative sentences, use, what do we use? Don't or didn't? Didn't. Did, didn't. Okay, didn't. And the ED or the base form? Base form. Base form. Okay, of the verb. This, you see that it has an asterisk there, right? A star, a star here. This star takes us to regular verbs. Esto es para los verbos regulares solamente. Okay, ¿por qué? Porque está hablando de la ED form. En todo caso, para el irregular sería la forma simple del pasado, ¿verdad? Now, let's continue here. Start a yes no question about the past with do or did? Did. Okay. Next, add the verb or the subject? Verb. Subject. The subject. subject. Excellent. Followed by the? Base form. Base form. Okay. Base form. Of the verb. Uh -huh. And any other complement phrase? Okay, Maria Elena, please read this box complete. Ya con todas las respuestas, lea esta parte. Please read. The simple part describe has M in the verb in the very form for positive sentences. For negative sentences, use didn't. And the base form of the verb. Thank you very much. Very well. Now. Excellent. Juan Carlos, please, con todas las respuestas, with all the answers, please read this box. Start a uh, yes no question about the past, what we did. Next, add, add the subject followed by the base four of the pairs any other complement parts? Phrase. Phrase. Okay. This is for regular verbs, okay? This is for the regular verbs. Thank you very much. Now let's complete these sentences. Let's complete these sentences. This, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we are going to use these verb in parentheses. Let's start. Solamente las preguntas vamos a hacer ahorita, okay? Porque quiero escucharlos con su conversación que falta, okay? So, number two, uh, let's, I'm sorry, let's read the example. Did you attend to a seminar last month? Did you attend to a seminar last month? El verbo era attend y me están pidiendo que haga una pregunta. Okay, number two. The verb is enjoy and the complement is the seminar. Did you enjoy the seminar? Excellent. Excellent. Daniel, excellent. Maria Elena. Who else? you enjoy the seminar? Number three, the verb is meet, meet. Mm -hmm. 
Did you meet new people? Okay. Very good. It was Suleyma, right? Did you meet new people? Yes. It's correct. Number four. The verb did is you, to learn. Mm -hmm. Did you learn something? Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Silvio. Did you learn something? Excellent. Number five. Did you just network in the conversation? Okay, good. Thank you, Ana Delmi. In this case is, did you network? Did you network? Si se fijan, hay muchas palabras que ahora se han convertido en verbo, ¿verdad? Que son tecnológicas que son referentes a las redes, a la internet, a la tecnología, a los aparatos, ¿verdad? A los devices. So, um, for example, network, network es un verbo, right? Network. So, did you network in the convention? Number six. Did you exchange business cards? Okay. Excellent. Did you exchange business cards? Very good. Very good. Okay. We covered the content for the class. And now we are going to listen to you guys with your conversations. Please get ready with your conversations. Now, let's see. Um, who wants to start or do I say the name? <gasps> only, only one group, please, only one group. Raquel, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, Raquel, with your classmates. Okay, um, I start. Good evening, my name is Karina. What's your name? Hi, Karina. My name is Raquel Vazquez. Nice to meet you. And um, tell me, what do you do? Nice to meet you too. Uh, I am an administrative assistant in your um, I am a, an accountant assistant. Uh, where do you work? I work at Romero Pineda y Asociados in Santa Elena. Mm, that sounds good. And what does your company do? We provide the lawyer service and help large and small companies to protect their brand. Nice. And what is your company known for? It's a fair that is now for providing good service to clients. And what are you responsible for? What I'm responsible for is sending report to my boss. Okay, nice. Um, see you later. See you later, Karina. Good, good. Very good. Interesting, interesting. Very interesting. So now let's see Juan Carlos, please, with your classmate. Nancy, I think it was, right? Is Nancy in? Yes, there you are. Okay. Okay. Nancy. Eh, good morning. <laughs> good morning. My name is Nancy Tobar. What is your name? Hello, Nancy. Nice to meet you. My name is Juan Carlos, and I am the company account. What do you do? I am the new assistant manager. That's great. Welcome. Our company is known for providing quality financial service. Thank you. I'm happy to help contribute with company. What are you responsible for? 
I am responsible for gener generating financial information. Who is a person next to you? Is my accounting assistant. Where, uh, where will be a great time? Finish. Okay, thank hey, you. good, good. Everybody, everybody, mm -hmm. let's remember the pronunciation. I am responsible. I am responsible for, responsible for. Okay, everybody, I want to hear you with that. Please activate your mic. Responsible for. Responsible for. Responsible for. Okay. Responsible for. Responsible for. Okay, very good. So now we have five minutes. We have five minutes and we, hear, we heard uh, two groups. Only one more group, okay? Only one more group. Who wants to participate? Mm -hmm. Solo dos, solo uno más. Only one more. Okay, then I want to hear Silvio's group. Mm, okay. Hola. Is... Okay. Uh, Carla and Astrid. Okay. Hello, how are you? I don't see Astrid. Astrid, where are you? We can't see you. Yes, pero le toca a Carla la conversación. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. I find you. Great. Are you Miss Carla? Yes, I am. What is the, the, the woman next to you? Marketing Astrid. Nice to meet you, Astrid. Nice to meet you too. What do you do? I'm a content. What are you responsible for? I'm responsible for controlling and checking the budget. Carla, tell me, where do you work? I work at the El Salvador. What does your company do? We provide mobile, mobile phone. We are in the communication industry. What is your company known no for? My company is now for the modern technology and cell phone. That's odd. Okay. I don't, I don't complete. That. Oh, you did. But it is okay, but it is okay. And I hear that you are trying to do your best in the pronunciation and congratulations. I see that you are trying to say every every letter in a good and correct way. Uh, para que puedan mejorar todos, todos. La pronunciación, lo primero que hay que conocer es el sonido correcto de las letras. Y hay muchas... Um, Muchos sonidos que son especiales en, considerados en el idioma inglés, ¿verdad? Hay muchos sonidos especiales. Es importante que practiquemos el abecedario con sus sonidos. Acuérdense que son como 15 eh, vocales y por eso a veces no sabemos si es E, si es U, si es I, ¿ok? Ahora... Para la pronunciación de los verbos en el tiempo pasado, les voy a enviar un video. Porque existen reglas para pronunciar esa finalización de ED en, el verbo, en los verbos regulares. 
Y es bien importante porque en algunos se pronuncia como una T, en algo otro se pronuncia como una letra D, y en otras se extiende a ED, ED, ¿verdad? Entonces, para saber en cuáles, el video es largo, un poquito largo, por eso en sus tiempos ustedes vayan agarrando por partes, ¿verdad? Por reglas, vayan viendo y practiquen esa regla. No es para que ahorita todo diga, ay, qué difícil el gran montón que dice este video, ay, cómo me voy a memorizar todo eso, ay, no, santo Cristo, no. Vea, vamos a ir parte por parte. No, no, no se vayan a abrumar, ¿ok? Porque son diferentes sonidos, ¿ok? Y vamos a ir con la práctica. Acuérdense que son más cursos de aquí para allá en donde vamos a seguir viendo el pasado de los verbos y otros usos, ¿verdad? Y otras combinaciones, pero es importante la base. La base que estamos viendo ahorita es que hay verbos regulares que terminan en ED, ¿verdad? Que hay verbos irregulares que cambian completamente y dentro de los irregulares tenemos también diferentes eh, grupos de verbos, unos que sí cambian completamente, otros que solamente, que no cambian ni el spelling, la ortografía, perdón, la escritura, ni tampoco la pronunciación y uno que cambia su pronunciación pero mantiene la escritura. Entonces ya tenemos la base, ahora tenemos que saber cómo pronunciarlos. Por eso les voy a enviar ese video para que en sus tiempos libres vayan regla por regla practicando, ¿ok? Practicando para que no se les haga difícil entender a las personas cuando les hablan en inglés, ¿verdad? When you listen to English, you are going to know what they are talking about. The pronunciation is very important. Ok, guys, the turn for today is for Raquel. So, Raquel, you may stay. Uh, ¿Se va a quedar? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, guys, then let us meet tomorrow. Remember to do your homework. If you have any question, please let me Thank know you. through WhatsApp and bye-bye. Have a good night. Okay. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello, Giovanni, are you there? Giovanni, Alexander, please tell us, is everything okay there? Okay, Giovanni, we've finished. Let us meet tomorrow. Have a good night, Giovanni. Very well. Okay, Raquel, tell me. Do you have any question? Teacher, um, me cuesta entender un poco lo del the past voice. The passive voice. The passive voice. Ok. Eh, hasta el momento, ¿qué es lo que entiende? What do you understand about that? Eh, entiendo como que se cambian las, las oraciones. Ok. Let me, let me look for the material there. Okay, Raquel, look, uh, we started studying that part, the passive voice, 
because we wanted to talk about the reputation of our company. And the only way to do it is to uh, talk about the actions or giving the importance to the actions instead of who do these action, right? Who does the action? So that is the reason why we study the passive voice. Estudiamos esa voz pasiva nada más para eh, hablar acerca de la reputación de la compañía, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, más adelante vamos a volver a ver el tema, pero ahorita quiero llegar a mostrarle los ejemplos que teníamos. Lo okay. vimos de esta manera, lo vimos de esta manera para que vieran de dónde provenía lo del diálogo. Pero en realidad lo más importante, Raquel, es que sepa usarlo o decirlo cuando usted habla de la reputación de su compañía. Ok, permítame que era la página 14, I think. 9, 10, 14. Ok, here. Lo vamos a, le voy a mostrar nuevamente en el diálogo. Okay. En el diálogo que tenemos acá. En okay. este diálogo, it's a conversation, how to use a passive voice. Este es cómo se vería o cómo se oiría una voz pasiva en eh, una conversación. Vamos a enfatizar la acción no la persona que realiza la acción. Entonces, veamos. Rex, uh, bueno, veamos toda la conversación. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Mira acá. Rex is known for Mm -hmm. This is the phrase in the passive voice, the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Now, if you see, estos que están en negrita, look at this in bold, okay? Mire esto que está en negrita. La estructura gramatical de esto es verbo to be, okay? The verb to be, the past participle, okay? The past participle. Y como esto es una frase, utilizamos for en esta frase. Ahora, en esta otra frase, usamos otra preposición. Mire, tenemos el verbo to be. Tenemos el pasado participio del verbo, que es la columna 3 de la lista de verbos que les envié. Y tenemos la preposición as, que significa como. Okay, es reconocida como, it's recognized as, es en esta, to be, past participle, of right, it's rated as one, as, como una, ¿verdad? Como una de las diez más prestigiosas compañías. Okay, this is what you need to know. Okay, esto es lo que usted necesita saber acerca de la voz pasiva. Primero, we use the passive voice to emphasize the action. Para enfatizar la acción. No quien realiza la acción, sino la acción. ¿Cuál es la acción? La acción es known. Ok, known. Esta es la acción. Ok, recognized. Es la acción. Rated es la acción. Ahora, 
veamos porque tenemos que entender también de dónde viene la, la voz pasiva, ¿verdad? La voz pasiva se derivó de la voz activa, ¿verdad? La voz activa sí enfatiza a la persona que lo hace, ¿ok? Regresemos entonces, decimos, the passive voice is to emphasize the action, not the doer. The active voice is to emphasize the doer. Okay, la voz activa sí enfatiza quién lo hace. Veamos acá, estos cuatro ejemplos que tenemos acá están en voz activa, porque estamos viendo quién realiza la acción. El sujeto que está acá, people, no, people, no, la gente sabe, la gente sabe. Aquí no se sabe quién reconoce, ¿verdad? Se entiende que es la gente, porque ¿quién más va a reconocer una compañía? Entonces, se entiende, you understand that it's the people. Ahora, veamos entonces un poquito más abajo. Let's go down here. Y leamos otra vez lo que yo le decía. Use the, pass, the passive voice to emphasize the, that the actions are more important than the doers. Si yo le dijera, por ejemplo, hey, soup is done. Por ejemplo, usted llega y me dice, I am hungry, Carmen. Soup is done. Soup is done. La sopa ya está hecha, ¿verdad? Y entonces es importante quién la hizo quién, o, o, o la persona que lo haya preparado. No, porque yo tengo hambre. Lo que haya me voy a comer, right? So, soup is done está en una voz pasiva. Ahora, si yo le digo, my mom me, uh, did some soup. Ok, made some soup. Entonces, usted diría, ¿verdad? ¿Quién la está haciendo o quién la hizo? Ah, mi mamá. Rico, ¿verdad? Delicious. Ok, what is more important? The action or the person who does the action. In this case, when it is not important to say who is doing the action, then we use the passive voice. Y esa es la estructura gramatical que nos sirve para hablar, por ejemplo, de la reputación de la compañía, ¿ok? Of the comp, I mean, the reputation of the company. En, los, en las noticias, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? usted ha visto, a veces ni saben quién ha sido el que ha hecho la cosa, pero hay algo que ha sucedido, ¿verdad? Entonces, voy a reportar el hecho. ¿Quién lo hizo? No se sabe todavía, pero se va a saber, pero ahorita no se sabe. Pero es importante notificar o dar la noticia de que eso sucedió. Okay? The action happened. It's the same thing here, for example. Our company is considered, is considered the best manufacturer of brooms in the country. Aquí le pudiéramos agregar by the customers, ¿verdad? Porque ellos son los que considerarían las mejores escobas, ¿no? Entonces, our company is considered the best manufacturer of brooms in the country. Y le podríamos agregar by the people. Pero como no es importante y sería redundante decir eso, ¿verdad? No lo ponemos. Se sobreentiende. Ah, perdón. Cambié cuando estaba en fondo azul. People, people, people. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Raquel. Kind of sleepy, right? It says, by people, by people. 
podríamos no ponerlo porque no es importante, porque se entiende. ¿okay? Así hablamos incluso en español. Right? Our company is considered. Now, let's see number two. Number two. Our products, como es plural, voy a utilizar el to be en plural. Our products are rated, que sería el pasado participio. ¿verdad? Vamos a escribirlo. are rated as five of the most popular in the United States. Number three, let's see, our customers, uh, I'm sorry, our customer service agents. Oh. Yes, because it's plural. Mm -hmm. Now, what is the past participle of perceive? Received. Received. Mm -hmm. Received. As the most efficient in the sector. As the most efficient in the sector. Okay. Now, can you do number four? The brand is seen. As the leader in the energy drinks market. Excellent. There you are. Eso es lo importante de conocer en este módulo y en este tema. Ok. El ejercicio que hacíamos y que a usted creo que le preocupa bastante es el que hicimos. Sí, si no me equivoco. ¿Se recuerda del ejercicio que yo envié? Sí. Okay. Aquí lo tenemos. Perdón. Sorry. Okay, en este ejercicio, en this exercise, you just have to identify identificar si es una voz activa o si es una voz pasiva. Let's see. Y después pues las tenemos que cambiar. Ese era el ejercicio. No quiere decir que todo el tiempo le va a tocar hacer lo mismo. Ok. This is just an exercise for you to practice the grammar structure. Ok. Let's identify number one. Is it active or is it passive voice? Active. It's active. Why? And the government. Mm -hmm. Also, porque está hablando de del sujeto. Okay. Is the doer. Uh huh. Okay. The government is the doer. Uh -huh. And what is the action? Will, will. Exactly. And what is more important here? Okay, dependiendo de la forma en que estemos hablando, qué es lo que queremos enfatizar, ¿verdad? Porque si yo soy parte del gobierno y lo estoy eh, diciendo, yo no voy a dejar de decir que es el gobierno. ¿verdad? Entonces es importante decir quién lo hizo. Pero si yo no soy parte del gobierno, si soy, vaya, la oposición, ok, yo voy a decir, ah, sí, se construyó el hospital pediátrico. ¿Quién lo hizo? No voy a decir, ¿verdad? Ok, voy a enfatizar la acción. I'm going to emphasize the action. 
Entonces, el ejercicio acá en lo que consiste es en poner esta misma oración que está activa en una voz pasiva. Tratemos de hacerlo. ¿Cómo se convierte eso? Ah, después del verbo tenemos la parte de la oración que se llama el objeto directo. Ok, direct object. Entonces, el direct object, the direct object, goes to the place of a subject. Ok, it becomes a subject. So I start a pediatric hospital. Ahora voy a usar la estructura que vimos en el manual. To be verb. Uh -huh. Como es un hospital, it's singular, I'm going to use is. Uh -huh. Y tengo, and I have to use the past participle form of the verb build. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál sería esa forma del verbo participio, de build? Lo buscamos en las listas de verbos, si no me lo he aprendido. Y si ya me lo puedo, sé que es built. Ok, con una T. Es built. Uh -huh. Aquí yo podría decir o no decir quién hizo esto. Tal, ¿verdad? Ahora, ¿cuál es el complemento que tengo ahí? In this town. What is the complement in this town? ¿Puedo decir quién lo hizo o no? Ok. By the government. Uh, me faltó that. By the government. There you are. Y eso es lo que hicimos. A ver. Is it okay so far? Estamos bien hasta aquí? Yes, teacher. Okay. ¿Cree que puede ser la número dos? Primero identifiquemos. Is it active or is it passive? Voice. It's passive voice. Okay. ¿Cómo sería en una voz activa? The customer. I'm going to give you the, the remote. Okay, you can write it down. Puedo, no, no okay. puedo. Ok, le voy a poner el cuadro de texto y usted escribe ahí. Bye. Go there. Lo que sucede es que estoy con el teléfono, no sé cómo. Ah, ok, pero me da la opción de poder darle el, el control. Entonces, ahí tiene un lapicito. Voy a, quitar sí. el, voy a quitar este. En el lapicito, usted puede ir escribiendo así. Ok. Ah. Y lo puede escribir ahí. No se lo agarra completo, ¿verdad? No, sí. Ok. Está bien, lo puedo escribir yo por usted. I can write it for you. Usted me lo dicta. Ok. Wait. Okay. Uh, Sí, es que para escribir con el lapicito, Raquel, tiene que hacer un solo trazo, porque si no le va a, le corta, entonces lo tira como un dibujo diferente, entonces para que lo haga así, tiene que dibujarlo completo de una vez. Ok, 
Uh, let me add this text box. Aha. ¿Cómo sería? The customer. Aha. No, no. Sería low, es, es como abogado, teacher. Low, price. Uh, no, eh, precios bajos, low prices. Sí. Low prices. Uh -huh. No, for low prices. Uh -huh. Vaya, acordémonos de lo del de objeto directo y acordémonos del sujeto, ¿verdad? En este caso, el objeto directo se va a convertir en, ob en objeto directo de regreso. Acá, aquí en este está como sujeto, Australian Milk. Como aquí, mm. ¿verdad? El objeto directo lo convertimos en sujeto en la voz pasiva. Y como esta es voz pasiva, la primera es el objeto que va a ser en la activa, ¿verdad? ¿Sí, sí me explico? Australian Milk. Excelente. Uh -huh. No Australian milk. Now the compliment. For low prices and good state. Correct. Okay. There you are. Is it okay so far? Yes. Okay. Do you want us to finish or do you want to finish by yourself and your time? ¿Quiere que yeah. sigamos o, o lo hace usted en su tiempo? Yes, teacher. Finish. You want us to uh, finish now? Finish now. Okay. Estamos entendidos. Uh, creo que no le comprendí. ¿Terminamos hasta la número 5 o terminamos ya la, la explicación? Eh, yo creo que ya, le, ya entendí y puedo practicarlo yo en mi tiempo. Ok. Libre. Ok, now. Ok. I understand. And. Ok. Ok, then, Raquel. It has been a pleasure. So if you have any other question, remember that you can uh, uh, let me know through WhatsApp, okay? Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay, have a good night. Good night. Good night.